it's Melanie. Uh, so today I uh, want to do my review of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, which I got a sample of, as well as the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Mattifying Foundation. I actually got two samples of this foundation, one in a um, in their lightest shade in the more neutral undertone, which I believe is the pearl, and one in the porcelain um, color, which is a little bit darker, but it has a yellow undertone. So I'm wearing the pearl today, which I think is probably pretty perfect for me. Um, although I would have to say that the porcelain is, is also pretty perfect. So um, anyway, I do want to warn you guys that I do have Stella back home and she is not down for her nap yet. So she is in the background. She is counting her money currently and putting it in her piggy bank. Hopefully that keeps her occupied while I record this video. So um, the Hourglass um, veil and foundation were not something that I was interested in trying at all in the past because as most of you know who've watched my channel for quite some time, I am not into liquid foundation. It just does not work for me. I have super, super crazy oily skin um, that really only works well with um, powder foundations. And even at that, I have to use very specific primers at certain times of the year to make even the powder foundation work for me. So my go-to during the fall, winter, and then early spring is the Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. And you guys have seen this in a lot of my videos. I'm very much in love with this product. It's a holy grail for me. During the summer, I have to use Milk of Magnesia as a makeup primer. And um, I will do a video on that coming up. But for those of you that have been watching me for quite some time, um, you have seen me use this product quite a bit in the past. So anyway, I had got into Sephora just to pick up some samples of the Alterna Caviar um, CC Cream for hair. And the girl was like, well, do you want any samples of anything? And I was like, oh, not that I can think of. And she goes, how about some liquid foundation? And I think that she may have just been bored. And so I was like, all right, sure. Why the hell not? I had time. This was while Stella was gone last week. So... We went over to the Hourglass because I told her that my skin was just crazy oily and normally like nothing works in terms of liquid foundation. And she was like, I'm going to have you try this because I think that it might actually work. Um, so I was like, nah, sure, go ahead. So um, anyway, she we kind of talked about the brand a little bit and she shared with me, you know, how it is a line that is free of... Um, uh, like sulfates, phthalates, um, it, there's not very many like harmful ingredients in the product. It's very much more of a natural type of makeup. And I use that term loosely because there's still, you know, chemicals in it, but um, they have chosen to eliminate most of like the really bad ones from their products. So there's no parabens, stuff like that. So anyway, she ended up giving me the pearl and the porcelain, and she also sent me home with the Mineral Veil Primer, and I was using it uh, for the last few days, and I have to say, I have never been so impressed with a primer and a liquid foundation. Of course, it's one of the most expensive liquid foundations and primers that is out there, um, the foundation, I believe, sells for $54 for an ounce. Um, don't quote me on that. I will put links down below to the Sephora website where you can find this stuff. Um, the mineral primer, I believe, sells for $52 for an ounce. These are not cheap. Um, but I'm telling you, like, I have never, ever had an experience like this with a liquid foundation. It applies so beautifully. At the end of this video, or I guess middle, um... I'll show you a demo of me putting it on, so the primer as well as the uh, foundation. And I did use the Real Techniques um, buffing brush to apply the product, and this worked beautifully, by the way. And it just melts into my skin. Um, it's the foundation in the color Pearl, which I think is probably my preferred color. Um, starts out a little bit light but it starts to oxidize just slightly and it matches my skin perfectly after it goes through that little bit of like oxidation um it glides onto my skin and it just feels so smooth um i will say 
I do have to use the Mineral Veil Primer and the uh, foundation together um, because if I just use the foundation by itself, it doesn't work. Um, so that's the only tricky part. I have to use both of them in conjunction with each other or the makeup slides off my face. So um, that's the only tricky thing. <laughs> However, um, I will say that, um, you know, some people would probably just say, well, just go buy like the primer. But I, I like the look of the two together. She also gave me a sample of the Clinique um, Cream Whip. I think that might be the color, but the Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. So I tried this with the Mineral Veil as well, and that didn't work. So there is something about using that particular liquid foundation with that particular primer that together just works on my crazy skin. So that's kind of annoying, but I'm telling you, if a product works, I don't mind paying money for it. Um, I'm in a little bit of a tricky situation because of my beauty budget this year. Um, I'm so beyond tempted to purchase the foundation and the primer, and I think that I'm probably going to cave. I actually already purchased the foundation. It hasn't come yet. I ordered it through the Sephora website and did it like through Ebates and stuff. Um, because the VIB is going on right now. I would never pay full price for either of these products. I think they're way too expensive for full price, but for 15 or 20% off, I could maybe justify it. So anyway, I haven't decided whether I'm going to keep the liquid foundation. Um, I'm not going to keep it just by itself. I have to commit to purchasing the Mineral Veil Primer as well. So I need to do that. I need to make that decision before this coming Friday because the VIB sale will be over at that point, And then I'm I'm not going to pay full price. So um, the next time that I would think about purchasing it is in November when the 20% off coupon comes around. So yeah, it's, um, I have to say, I am super crazy impressed, but I'm also like, uh, like I didn't want to like this product. I almost wish that she would have never given me the samples because it just looks so phenomenal on my skin. Like my pores are not even barely visible. It doesn't settle into the lines on my forehead. It doesn't settle into, um, I don't have a lot of lines around my eyes. I'm pretty lucky. Um, I'm 35. I have like a few, but they're not bad at all. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. It wears well all day long. Um, I can apply it in the morning and it still looks awesome by 7, 8 o'clock at night. I maybe have to blot with just a tissue once, like halfway through the day. Um, but even at that, like, if I didn't do it, it would be okay. It just, at that point, it starts to turn into more of like a dewy type finish. And that's just not my preferred finish. Like, I prefer a really matte look to my face. And I know a lot of dry people out there prefer a dewier finish. So, um, you know, it's kind of like the grass is always greener on the other side type of thing. But for me, I like that really, really matte look to my skin. I just love the way that my skin looks with this primer and this foundation together. Now, I will say, if you have any kind of dry spots, the foundation is going to accent that like crazy. I have issues with dry skin right here and right here. So I have had to be really careful around those areas to make sure to exfoliate the, the flaky dead skin off of there um, because the foundation catches on any little dry patches that you have. This particular foundation, the Immaculate Foundation, is geared towards people with oily skin. So if you have dry skin, I don't think this is going to be a good fit for you. I think that Hourglass probably has a few other options for that. But um, for all of you really oily skinned girls out there, it is beautiful. And if you do happen to have a dry patch or two, use something like the Josie Moran um, Argon Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil to moisturize those areas, let that really soak in, and also make sure that you're exfoliating those areas, so either using your Clarisonic or like a um, washcloth just to get the dead skin off. Because again, you don't want anything catching. Sorry, I can see that the camera's shaking a little bit. You don't want anything catching on your dry patches because it's gonna look, um, it's gonna look bad. So overall, I have to give this two thumbs up. I am really, really stuck. Like, 
in this, oh my God, if I do this, it is going to blow my beauty budget situation. Um, even with the VIB sale, it's going to be probably just around like a hundred bucks for both the primer and the foundation. I know that they have a like 0.33 fluid ounce of the um, Mineral Veil Primer available for sale. It's only $18, but um, I could see myself going through that fairly quickly. It, it really is not a lot of product for the price, so it makes more sense um, to just buy the full one ounce size. They also have a two ounce size for $72, but again, it's going to blow my beauty budget. So I have not decided whether I'm keeping the foundation. I'm certainly not going to use it. Like if if I get it and I make the decision to not buy the Mineral Veil Primer, I'm not even going to open it. I'm just going to return it to Sephora um, unopened so that they can hopefully resell it. Um, you know, it was kind of one of those impulse things where the first day that I wore it, I was like, oh my God, look at my skin. It looks beautiful. It looks fantastic. I just haven't seen it look this good in a liquid foundation in years and years and years, um, if ever, to be honest. So I was just so excited about it. It was kind of one of those like, oh, it's VIB, I got to do it. So anyway, I love this product, you guys. If you are in the same boat as me and your skin is just crazy oily, try this stuff out. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to me applying the product now so that you can see what that looks like. And then um, you'll be able to see. Close it. Yeah, close it you'll be able to see what the application um, looks like. So check that out. Hey guys, so quick heads up, Stella is back from her Oma and Opa's house this week, so you may see her coming in and out. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a headband on so that I can keep my hair out of the way. And um, I'm gonna show you guys how I use the Hourglass Mineral Primer as well as the Immaculate Liquid Powder Mattifying Foundation from um, Hourglass. So the color that seems to work best for me is actually, I think, one of their lightest colors. It's called Pearl. I'm pretty fair right now. Um, the Pearl, I believe, has neutral undertones. Um, I also have the Porcelain, which I believe is geared more for yellow undertones. Normally, I tend to go for more yellow undertones, but in this particular case, the more neutral of the two seems to be working the best. So um, your lips, huh? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apply the primer first. And I just kind of dot it. Head. Like around my, my face. Head. Yeah. My head. What's mama doing? My head. <laughs> my head. Okay, there you go. Oh, so pretty. You look beautiful. <laughs> okay, now, um,. I'm going to use the Real Techniques um, buffing brush to buff the primer into my skin. I did moisturize my skin this morning with my Oil of Olay, uh, just regular classic pink moisturizer. Stella had a great time at her Oma and Opa's house, so I think she's glad to be home, but I know she had a lot of fun. And now she is very busily undoing all of the work that Mama did while she was gone. I had the whole house, like, sparkling clean figures, right? Okay, so after I buff it in with a brush, I just kind of make sure that it was spread nice and evenly. This is like silk as you're applying it to your skin. It's absolutely lovely. Okay, now let's go ahead and use the foundation. This is definitely a liquid to powder finish. It's very much um, a really nice, smooth, like satin type finish not do dewy or like 
Yeah, Mama's face. So I just kind of dot a little bit around. And then um, I go ahead and I start buffing it in. A face? Uh huh. Mama's putting it on her face. Yeah, just on the top lip, huh? <laughs> so I just work section by section. This buffing brush seems to work really, really well with product. What are you laughing at, silly? You're just being silly. I haven't put on my eye primer yet, so. Now, it looks pretty white right now, but it does oxidize just slightly, and once it oxidizes, you will see that it matches like the rest of my body perfectly. So, um, it does start out just a hair light, and then after about an hour or so, it transforms into my exact skin color. So... Um, I am not going to set this with any powder. I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then um, just going to wear it the whole day. So that is how I have been applying these samples and I really, really love the finish of this. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, my skin looks perfect right now. So. Um, anyway, that was the application. So there you guys go. Hopefully you found this review helpful. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. Um, leave them down below. And um, yeah, I give this product two thumbs up. I absolutely love it. If I had all the money in the world to spend on really expensive foundation, this would be the foundation that I would choose to purchase. So if you've been on the fence about it and you have the same skin type as me, I can definitely say that it worked well and I did not have any expectations for it to work for me at all. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.